June the 10th, 2019. Guys, you're looking at amazing images taken by Andrew Robb of Beaverton, Oregon. They were taken on the 8th, but uh, you see the light blue clouds. They kind of look like chemtrails uh, on the, uh, just at sunset. But guys, these are noctilucent clouds. And it says over the weekend, a huge outbreak of noctilucent clouds called NLCs occurred as tendrils of frosted meteor smoke were sighted in Europe and the U.S. as far south as Oregon, Utah, and California. What a surprise, says Andrew Robb of Beaverton, Oregon, who took these images. He says it's been almost 10 years since I've seen NLCs here in Oregon. They're back. They broke uh, records, guys, were as far south as you could see these things. And uh, usually there'd be a patch in the upper sky, but uh, they went from horizon to horizon. Why is this occurring now? You knew uh, that uh, for a couple months now, we've been talking about June and us going uh, in the next week or so, peeking through the uh, torrents. And this is supposed to be the thickest debris trail of what was once comma inky. That, we, that the earth has passed through in a long time. Our shields are weak also. These things are getting closer to our planet, and actually we're dealing with about three different meteor showers this month, and some at the same time. Remember the video I did a couple days ago about uh, the live meteor broadcast showing these radar-indicated meteorites? Well, that's what you're seeing here. It says, NLCs are Earth's highest clouds. Again, seeded by meteoroids, they float at the edge of space more than 80 kilometers above the planet's surface. That's the average, guys. It makes me wonder if these are a little closer. Again, our shields are weak. The clouds are very cold and filled with tiny ice crystals. When sunbeams hit those crystals, they glow electric blue. Normally, LCs are confined to polar regions. This year, people are seeing them at middle latitudes. It broke records on the latitude on yesterday on the 9th on june 8th and 9th the clouds appeared in california utah minnesota wisconsin washington montana iowa and oregon and maine electric blue ripples also blanketed much of europe this is what sunrise over poland looked like yesterday june the 9th guys check that out the sun rays hit these high ice crystals and that's what we're seeing again records broken in the latitude now, again i said record setting not the lucid clouds last night sunday june night sky watchers in the san francisco bay area of california witnessed an extraordinary display of these nlcs above the city lights this marks one of the lowest latitude sightings ever of these clouds the clouds are typically confined to latitudes above plus 55 degrees north Yet San Francisco is at plus 38 north. Mid-latitude observers should remain alert for NLCs tonight. Read the article below for observing tips. Guys, and it's uh, just at, uh, before, it's the sun starting to come up, and you start seeing these meteorite shot, uh, clouds, the noctilucent ones. But guys, it's very interesting uh, that they are dropping this far low as far as the uh, latitude. I think it has everything to do with weak shields and us going through the thickest part of uh, Comet Inky's debris trail. Now, guys, check out this animation. What you're seeing is the Earth coming in on the left, and in the gray in the background, these tarred resonant swarm. That's what they're calling this. Now, we pause it here on June the 10th. That's today. We're start, they're starting to approach the planet, getting closer. And as we go further, you'll see the particles start to become colorized as they hit right here. You see that light green? That will change. But on June the 19th, it starts to cross the orbit of the Earth. We'll go, and as we go forward, watch the coloration change. The thickest is the red area. Notice your uh, color chart here. And that's exactly where our planet went through. And we're going to be going through that, guys, until around July the 16th or the 15th. Check that out. But again, the thickest part of this was right uh, where it crossed the Earth's orbit. That's what we've been saying for a couple months. Now, something else that surprises me, guys, and go back and pause this if you want to look at dates and any other information, is that 
uh, the major media reporting um, websites, magazines, whatever, blogs, are really uh, trying to ignore this particular meteor shower. That could be a mistake, but I don't understand why they're not talking about it. Some have even taken it off their list. Now, guys, if you go to our website, uh, the American Meteor Society is one of the links that's been there probably from the beginning, maybe at least six years. But uh, when you're there, don't forget our sponsors at My Patriot uh, Supply, guys. Right now, beginning of hurricane season, they have put their two-week emergency food supply, which this is really good food. Uh, it lasts a long time in the Mylar packets. From one thirty-seven to eighty-five dollars, it's fifty-two dollars off, and it is exclusive to our site. So uh, we appreciate it. It'll help you. It helps us keep uh, coming to you. But if you scan down on the left through our different links, you'll see the American Media Society here. Click on that link, and you can scroll down. There's a tremendous amount of information on the site, uh, and this is actually looking. If you click on the right, it's called the Meteor Shower Calendar for 2019. And just to kind of give you an idea, I, again, it's kind of strange to me that they're not talking about this. Because uh, remember, it was uh, reports from other astronomers that when I did the video a few months ago that were coming out. But anyway, it's the Meteor Activity Outlook for June 1st through the 7th. Now again, today's the 10th, and then it skips to May 25th through the 31st. But there's a lot of meteor showers that are going on during this period of time. And uh, they're talking about here the uh, anthelion source can be counted on for continuous activity. But guys, uh, again, I don't know why they're not talking about this meteor shower. It seems to be very important. Again, we're crisscrossing some smaller uh, showers now, but the indications that we're seeing, not only from the radar-indicated meteors that we saw the other night, but also from these noctilucent clouds. So we're watching it. I wanted to do this update, guys. And again, another link on our site. Let me point this out for tonight. Coming from the American Meteor Society, scan down to almost the bottom. It says Live Meteors. And this is the link that I used the other night showing those radar-indicated meteors. Very interesting, especially if you're under cloudy conditions or you kind of want to see the entire uh, northern hemisphere as far as our side of the planet. But you can click there. Now, this is going to give you the live information now, and you can see it's very quiet. Remember the other n night uh, at 52.24 uh, megahertz, and this entire area was saturated. And you can see trails off the edges here. But this is just a very short burst. If you want to look at the overall um, image for today, you can go to their YouTube site. Just scroll down under this chart, and you'll see right here, YouTube live streaming. Click on that. Now, this will give you the same images, but if you look at your timestamp, this goes back several hours, so you can see what's happening live here at the very end of this, or you can uh, go back and kind of scan through that. And you can see earlier at 5.26 p.m., guys, uh, you're starting to see some of those meteorites that were causing those noctilucent clouds. It's been a quiet day. It's going to be interesting throughout the night if you'd like to like this sort of thing to kind of keep an eye on this because these trails are those uh, electric blue long clouds that we saw. But guys, we're watching it again. Thanks for all your support. It's a heads up. Be safe.